So I recently got an aftermarket tire pressure monitoring system from Amazon. Dot com. I'll put a link in the description below. Got it for 50 bucks. Actually, it retails for 50. I got it for 40 because I use Prime. So I thought I'd uh, do an unboxing here and a little demo on the wheels I have here. So let's get started. So I'm excited about using this because it has real time pressure and temperature, also solar power and USB charging, four wireless external sensors, and easy installation. So we'll see about that. Here's what the box looks like. And here, are those sensors. This is the device itself, and there is the solar. So I'll be putting that probably on the dash. Small little tool kit here. They provide you with an extra battery, or this might be the only battery. USB cable. Oh yeah, cool. They do have two batteries. Okay, here are the instructions. Installation of sensors. You got four of those. An anti-theft nut for those. A wrench, tool of replacement battery, and waterproof O-ring. All right, I'm gonna install these around the vehicle, and they're all labeled. So you got front left, front right, right left, rear right, or rear left. Okay, this is the front left. I have the FL on it. So I just tighten it. All right, that's good. Rear left, front right, and rear right. And this is actually your tool to unscrew the back to replace the battery. And right now, the alarm is going off on the unit inside the car because it recognizes that this thing is off the, uh, the stem there. So with this, it fits perfectly in the back. Once you put it on here, you twist it. And once you twist it to a point, you'll recognize that it comes apart. And there is where the battery is. You can pop that out. If the battery is dead, you will get a zero on the display. So I'm gonna put it back in, tighten it up. So I'll put it back on. And these are the two replacement batteries they give you. So that's what these are. I'm learning as I go. So I'm gonna try to go through this with you and show you what it looks like and do the setup here. It's already been somewhat set up. So PSI, obviously. And here on the top button, I'm gonna press this middle button down for the menu. It's gonna let me go through and change some of the settings. And hit it again, show Celsius. I'm gonna change it to Fahrenheit so I can see the temperature of the wheels. This is the low uh, pressure settings i'll leave it at 26 just for the sake of it high 46 so if it goes above or below that it's going to give me an alarm or an alert same with the bottom so i'm just changing the tires on what their uh, stats will be and this is the temperature threshold 167 i can you know go lower than that every one of the tires has its own id so that's what that looks like to some point, this is kind of a little bit confusing. So now this is the information I really like. So the current PSI is 36 for every tire and the temperature is on the outside. So I'll leave it on my dash and when I'm driving, this will change based on the tire temperature and PSI setting. So I'm going to uh, put it on the dash since this is one of my um, press cars, I'm not going to use the, there usually is a sticker right here you can put on your own vehicle's dash so it doesn't move but i'm just going to drive with it uh kind of free all right here is the tire pressure monitoring system in action so on my dashboard i can see the current psi and the temperature of each of the wheels and looks like i'm running a little hot on the left hand side uh, but it looks like all the psi is pretty standard and where it should be considering where it was when i got it and the people who uh, send me these cars on a regular basis are able to give me some really good quality vehicles and they're making sure that they're, they're ready to go and safe. So there you go, that's what it looks like on the go. All right, it's been a few days since I last recorded it and I have a new press vehicle, so I put the tire pressure monitoring system on this vehicle to show you how it works over this one. And this has a PSI max of 50 and it shows here on my readout, my LCD here, between 32 and 34 PSI, so the tires are a little bit different, and the temperature is between 70 and 75. Now this is interesting and a great uh, safety feature. I'm gonna take off this sensor here and you'll hear the vehicle, actually hear the device make a sound and I'll show you what it looks like and show you how it changes. So as I turn off the front right, it's off. And if you can see that, it's, it's flashing zeros and making an alarm. 
to let me know there's a problem with this sensor. So I'm just gonna put it back on. And this is the alarm you'll get inside the car if something is going above or below your threshold. Now that it's back on, I'm showing 32 again, and the alarm has stopped. Pretty cool, right? So that's how that works. And just leave this on your dash. It, the uh, solar power panel here will keep it charged if you don't have the USB. A couple other interesting notes here. Battery life is 24 months. The working pressure is anywhere between zero and 99 PSI, and the PSI accuracy is between 1.5, give or take. There we go. I will put a link in the description below this video if you're interested in one of these. Again, I got it uh, about $10 cheaper, 20% off using my Prime, but it's right around 50 bucks, give or take. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. See you next time. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links to some of the best-selling automotive accessories on Amazon right now, along with links to some of my product reviews. You'll find it in the description below this video.